All right, here we are. Uh, it wasn't a very long time since we last spoke, maybe about 35 seconds. I'm going to just run through and get and finish up Psalm 71. If you are just joining us, please go back to the beginning so we can so you can catch up and, and, and kind of see where we're at. But right now, we are still taking our journey through the Psalms. We are still in Psalm 71. And we are in our last passage, 19 to 24. So without further ado, it says, Thy righteousness also, O God, is very high. Who has done great things, O God, who is like unto thee? Thou, which hast showed me great and sore troubles, shalt quicken me again, and shalt bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will also praise thee with the psaltery, even thy truth, O my God, unto thee will I sing with a harp, O thou holy one of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee and to my soul, which, shall, which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought unto shame that seek my hurt. Now, the last section that we just went through of Psalm 71 is a shout out to God and his greatness. The, 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 excuse me, this portion is that shout out to God and his greatness. The psalmist expresses his awareness of the righteousness of the Lord amidst all circumstances. It's a praise for what he expects God to do as well as what he has already done. It is a praise of victory through the hands of God. Now, excuse me, just, I went the wrong way in my notes, and I've mentioned this before. Um, if you get, if you take notes, the flip over note ones is just not convenient because I always mess it up. Verse 19, thy righteousness also, O God, is very high. Who has done great things, O God, who is like unto thee? The psalmist proclaims that the righteousness of God is infinitely far above that of man. Obviously, right? Ending in a rhetorical statement of com uh, comparison. Who is like unto thee? The answer is obvious. There is none like our God. He is in a category all of his own. Verse 20, thou which had showed me great and sore troubles, shall quicken me again and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. This verse here speaks of God's sovereignty. The psalmist understood that God's hands are in everything in one way or another, either causing or allowing circumstances. By his statement, thou which had showed me great and sore troubles, appears to declare that he knows God may not have necessarily created the trouble, but that he permitted them to happen, which is what every believer should recognize. This understanding can lead us to a better experience of being able to rejoice always. And that kind of would segue us into uh, our other set of videos in the book of Psalms. Or, excuse me, Philippians. We're in Psalms right now. The rest of that statement shows the author's expectation that God will bring him out. He, it's almost as if... Um, See, I did it again. It's almost <laughs> as if his confidence is that since God permitted the trouble, he is certain to deliver him out of it. Now, what a great perspective to have. If God has allowed this trouble to happen in my life, he is sure to have a good purpose for it, to teach us something about him or ourselves. Now, verse 21. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Now, don't, don't apply this verse to the concept of prosperity. This greatness is not necessarily that. This verse continues to build upon the confidence. God will deliver me, promote me, and surround me with comfort and safety. Again, this promoting, this is, this is God's exalting you. This is God's lifting you up. He will raise me up. It does not necessarily mean material wealth, material possessions, or a, a lifting up of your 
you know, your job description or your raise or whatever. This, this, you can't always apply those things there. I think it's a very, very risky thing to even teach that. Verse 22, I will also praise thee with the psaltery, even thy truth, O my God, and unto thee will I sing with a harp, O thou holy one of Israel. Horn wrote this. He said, to celebrate it, a right with the melody of instruments, voices, and affections, all in perfect concord, is the duty and delight of the church militant, which, when thus employed, affords the best resemblance of the church triumphant. An interesting note is that the title Holy One of Israel is uncommon outside of the book of Isaiah, and it describes God as one in which unapproachable light and covenant love meet together. Looking at verse 23, my lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee and my soul, which thou hast redeemed. Once again, emphasizing the praise he will give God in song. And we know there are numerous examples throughout scripture where praise is said to be done through singing. Joy should cause us to continually have a song on our lips. And verse 24, my tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness and all the day long, for they are confounded, they are brought unto shame, that seek my hurt. This verse describes the psalmist's talk of God's righteousness. He proclaims he will make mention of it all day long. He will talk of God constantly, and here he gives reason. The psalmist is describing his testimony. He is saying, I will tell everyone what God has done for me. And that's our job, that's our privilege as believers in Christ, to go out and tell people what God has done in your life. Closing with this, a statement by Kidner, it says, This verse is vindication, not vindictiveness. It will be part of the joy of heaven. Now that was a short one, seven and a half minutes or so. That concludes Psalm 71. Please come back soon uh, as we continue through the book of Philippians and uh May God be with us as we continue making more and more study and just just enjoying his, his word. I've got a brain pause there for a minute. So thanks for watching. Again, as I said before, please comment, like, subscribe, dislike, tell me you hate it, something, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Thank you and God bless.